Good afternoon guys and welcome to Papa D's Range Time and we are out on another gorgeous day here in South Louisiana. Can't ask for a better day to be out on the range. Just love it out here. Light winds, about 76 degrees. A little cloud but I can take and deal with that. No threat of rain right now. So uh, uh, as many of you know I had surgeries in June and in August. Uh, all the right side was done on, in June. My hand, uh, thumb, elbow and shoulder that's coming along pretty well and then August the 6th I did the uh, left wrist and the thumb and today the the left is kinda acting up a little bit I'm gonna take in before I shoot today I'll probably have to put some sort of a brace on anyway information you really don't need to know so today I'm going back to 45 ACP this is a Glock model 41 45 ACP um, I have a Vortex Venom red dot on this gun. I did put a pyramid trigger in it and I really don't have a whole lot of rounds on this gun. Uh, less than a thousand, thousand rounds but I, I do like it. I took it to a gun training class and we shot about 600 rounds in one day. I uh, definitely broke it in that particular day. So today I'm doing slow fire uh, starting at 20 yards. I've got an 8 inch target here I'll be 20 yards, standing, two-handed. I'm hoping that my wrist is not going to hurt whenever I do that. We'll see if I put the, the brace on, I should be okay. So I am uh, running 200 grain semi-wad cutters. These are reloads, and they have been pretty accurate in the past, but it has been a while since I've shot 45. I'd have to say the beginning of the year, probably April-ish, uh, maybe March, since the last time I shot a 45 ACP. I'm not sure how my how everything's going to work. So uh, post surgery. So I'm running uh, bullseye powder in these uh, with federal, federal primers. I've just got a regular range holster, so I'll be coming out and slow fire, getting on target and trying to get a good squeeze. I'm really trying to take and see how accurate I can be with this and see if I'm going to be flinching, jerking, anything else. That 20 yards, all of that will definitely uh, uh, be very evident if I am. If that doesn't work, I'll have to move up to 15 yards and shoot there. Uh, if I'm doing good at 20, I'll back it up to 25, 30, and 35 to see where I'm, where I'm at and what I can take and do with this gun. Anyway, I just wanted to bring you up to speed on where I'm at right now, what we're doing. I will be setting a second camera up on this target, and then this camera will be with me back 20 yards back, and we're going to take and run a few rounds. So stick with me. I will be right back, and I'll be set up with all my, my gear. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm set up at 20 yards. I've got a table in front of me. I've got a second camera set up on the target, the 8-inch target at 20 yards. Uh, I have the timer out, but I think this is just going to be a draw, and shoot uh, again i'm taking my time with it i've got 10 rounds loaded shooting these 200 grain semi wide cutter uh, reloads trying to see where i'm at i do have the brace on my left and uh, i did a couple of dry fires and it feels better even though it's got a sore spot in it but anyway i'll take and get over that so let's see what we can do as far as being able to hit rounds on target I was left. It's more what I expect. Another left one. I would miss the target completely.
If I hold it steady, I can take and make the hits. I felt myself jerk on that one. That was a good one. All right, first 10 completely cold shots. I think I can take a move back a little bit. Maybe go back to uh, 25 or 30 yards. Let's see what we can do. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I've moved my target, uh, my, my shooting position to 30 yards from the 8-inch target. I think I figured out what was wrong with my target. I had it moved too far to the right. Everything was going left, so I moved this one over a couple inches. That's a joke, guys. All right, uh, so 30 yards, 8-inch target. 20. Um, I've got 10 rounds loaded. Let's see if I can do at least as good as what I did at 20. Taking it slow and easy. Almost missed it. Definitely on the left. Pretty consistent down there. Let's see if I could take and clean that up. Let's see. Two hits were acceptable. The rest, the rest of them need to be tightened up. That's all me. I know that. The reloads are good. I'd forgotten how smooth and soft this uh, particular reload was. I actually like that. It's uh, definitely controllable with, uh, with my wrist and thumbs and everything. So anyway, more to come. I think I'm going to take and uh, set up at a different range. Uh, I'm going to try to do some headshot swingers on one of the steel targets. Stick with me. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, guys. I've moved up to the 15-yard line, so uh, and I've also changed targets. So I'm on my, I am on a uh, AR-500 body size target. It's 12 inches wide, 20 inches tall, and it has two swingers on it. The head swinger is a 4-inch swinger that goes back and forth, and then the body target Whenever it's off to the side, it's a six inch target. Whenever it flips to the center, it's a four inch target. So uh, 15 yards using this same Glock 41 and 45 ACP. Let's run a few rounds and see what we can do. No time, going slow and easy on this.
I will take that. That was actually a pretty good run for me. Looks like I hit the targets all the time. I might have clipped the ear of the bat of the uh, hostage, uh, the left ear of the hostage one time, but overall that was a pretty good run for me. Anyway, guys, that was 30 rounds through this Glock 41 AC, uh, 45 ACP uh, with the Vortex Venom red dot sight on it, shooting reload ammo, 20 yards, 30 yards, and then back up to 15. I'll take and run a few more rounds, but that's going to take and wrap up this video for the day. Challenge yourself. Figure out where you are each and every day. Uh, you know, knowing that I've got uh, some strength issues in my left wrist, trying to take and wear a brace, understanding I might have to take and come out one-handed and, uh, and then acquire the shot. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it from, uh, from this South Louisiana day, and I'm going to take and see you down the road on the next video.